manual, or as we call it, the quick installation guide. It's got steps to turn on the device, plug it into the router, and make sure the light comes on, and then go to the URL. So I don't have the device up here with me, so it's set up in a cube over there, and I've already kind of turned it on and done all that stuff. And I've actually already set it up, but I'm gonna walk you through the setup process as if a second person was set it up, or as a device owner. It's no different, it's the exact same. There's different ways to join the device, but we'll cover what that experience looks like now. So I'm already here on the URL, so if I scroll down, you have two options, sign in or create an account. We're gonna go ahead and click on create account, and it'll take me through a simple account creation process. Anyone in the last decade has ever created an account, they're gonna be familiar with this. It's, no, it's nothing special, it's nothing different, so it's a very easy way to get them started. So I'll go ahead and start with my first name, my last name, and I already have an email here that I'd like to use, and a super secret password that you guys all now know, and I'm gonna hit create account. What this is going to do is it's going to create my myclock.com account, which is basically going to be, I'm going to be using it to get to my content on my device. And then we automatically go through a device discovery process, and since this is EFA and we're demoing a bunch of devices, you get a list of all of them. Um, each of these devices has a device code right below it. That's the unique identifier for the device. And we did something really interesting with that as well. The biggest feedback that we've gotten is, you know, you guys talk about the automatic setup, you guys talk about how quick and easy it is, there are some flows where I may not be on the same network, I may be on LTE, I may be on a different network, and I can't find my device. So what we did was we added this device code right there on that manual, and you can use this device code from any network, anywhere in the world, and you can connect to that device. So it takes away that automatic pain that you may have from a different network, and brings it to you using a secondary method. I've already got my device here, so I don't need to enter my device code. I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect, and I'll be asked for analytics. Um, you might have noticed a notification, so I'll get to the notification in a minute. It's gonna ask me for analytics, privacy is important, we wanna make a better product, so we ask you to share your analytics with us. I'm gonna hit share, and this is where things get a little bit different. If I was the first person setting up the device, I don't need an approval. I'm automatically in, I'm done. But you saw that notification. I'm already logged in as the first user using the mobile app. So I got a request to let me in to my own device. Kind of creepy and weird, I know. But if a second person was setting it up, that's what they'd go through. So I'm actually gonna go tap on that notification. I'm taking it right into the mobile app, and there's that request. I'm gonna hit approve request. It's gonna take a second to approve me. And once that's done, this page automatically takes me to the next step. So the person could be anywhere in the world or in your home, and they're moving on from that step. So this is the all done. Hit next, and you get the mobile app. In maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds of me even talking through it, I'm all set up, and now I have an account on that MyCloud home device. It's really, really that simple. So I already have it, so let's go ahead and go into the mobile app, and I'll cover it briefly. We've got four separate sections here, activities, which gives you a little run through of all the things you can get started with the device. Um, files tab, your standard file browser view with folders and files. Um, you'll see some folders here already and I'll talk you through that as well. And here's my photos tab. So what this does is any photos and videos that I've added to the box, we smartly go look at when they were taken and group them together by day, week, month, and year. So you can now look for your photos in a very kind of enjoyed way rather than just going through folders and files. It's, it's very camera roll-esque, it's very Android gallery-esque but you have the power of putting together everything from different um, sources like USB, Facebook even, Dropbox, and your camera roll and looking all at it in one view. So this view is really powerful and I'll show you guys how we can use that in a little bit. And then here's the settings. Super dumbed down, took away all of the NASI features that you may be used to from MyCloud and from WD and made it very approachable for an end user and a customer to kind of interact with their device. So that's kind of the mobile app. Um, you heard Sven say within a single tap you can start the auto backup and start taking up the camera roll photos from here and moving on. So the folder that I have here is actually my personal device. Yes, I was brave enough to put some of my photos that are from here on that device and I haven't backed up this phone yet. So I'm going to go into settings, I'm going to go into auto backup, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to turn on background uploading. So now iOS thing kind of gets killed in the background, this gives us a little bit more time to work in the background and upload. And you'll notice that I've got a badge counter counting down. Those are the photos that are on my camera roll that are being backed up to my MyCloud home right now. So we'll go back in here, take a look at how that progress is, and there's my new folder, Praveen Aravind's iPhone camera roll. So that's this phone that's being backed up to the MyCloud home. If I go into my photos view, do a quick refresh, those are all the photos that I've been taking in Berlin that are on this phone. 
automatically right there backed up that quick. Photos view, you'll notice, that has a zoom in and zoom out type of feature. So this is kind of the condensed view of looking at things from a day perspective or a week perspective. Tap that corner icon, and now you've got the month and year. So I've got all of my photos from my own personal device, as well as a device that I have auto backup turned on now, all backing up into this thing. So maybe, what, a minute, minute and a half? I've now set it up. I've now got all of my content from this phone backing up to my MyCloud. Again, don't call me a cheater, but I'm cheating a little bit. Uh, I don't have the device with me to plug in a USB device, but I already have one plugged into the device that I'm using. And when you plug it in, you get a notification, just like the user request, but clearly it's already been plugged in. And in the home card, you see that it says USB device found. When I tap it, I have this nice little dialog telling me that I can copy all my files from that USB device to the MyCloud home. One tap, and it begins to copy all the files to the MyCloud device. What's nice is this is being done on the device. So I can now leave the application, go to Netflix, go on YouTube, do whatever it is that I need to do, and don't have to wait for it. So when that copy is done, I'll get a notification. And what's nice is I'll get a notification on every single device that I'm logged into. So even if I'm not near my phone and I'm logged into my iPad or whatever it may be, I get a notification. So let's act on that notification. And it says copy success. I'll hit view files. And there it is, SanDisk Extreme Pro. So I actually have some of my important office documents here. They're now backed up and safe on my device. So now we've set up the device. We've backed up the stuff on my phone. And we've done a USB backup as well. It's a small USB device, but we've done it. It's there. And now let's take a look at how easy it is to get your cloud accounts on that device as well. So settings, manage services, social and cloud import app, hit configure. Now you'll be presented with all of the social accounts that we have currently that we're launching with. And like Sven mentioned, we're always working to add more. Um, and literally within one tap for Dropbox, I'm gonna turn it on. It's your personal device, so most likely you've already been logged in. If you're not, it'll ask you for your credentials, but I'm already logged in. So Sync is now enabled, and now the MyCloud Home is doing all of the work of getting my folders, files, and content on my Dropbox and centralizing it for me on my MyCloud Home. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like as well. Very familiar kind of way to look at your files and folders now. You have an extra folder that says Dropbox right there. So when I open it, you'll see that the account is the first thing that I see. So we've made it so easy for you to add these things and kind of centralize your data. We know that some people are using multiple accounts. This gives you the flexibility to do that. Each account is centralized into a folder, so you know which account things are coming from, and then you're free to kind of interact with your data as you want. Um, there's my you know, status from my Dropbox account right there. Uh, and now we've done setup, we've done the auto backup, we've done the USB, and we've done the cloud backup in, I don't know what, two minutes maybe? Two and a half minutes or so? That's with me talking as well. So we really wanted to focus on how easy it is to get everything in one place for the user using just their mobile phone. Um, you may be asking, what can you do now that you have everything on the actual device? So we have the options menu here on any file or folder. Uh, you have your options to share, rename, move, copy, those kind of regular familiar things. I'm actually gonna take a photo that Sven, I, I took of Sven this morning telling me where I should stand, what I should be doing, and I was like, God, Sven, stop talking. <laughs> so I'm gonna share this memory with him so we can laugh about it later. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna tap on this icon here, I'm gonna hit share, and it'll now bring up the intents and, extent, uh, uh, intents and extensions menu that you're all used to. So you can use any application to share this out. I'm gonna use messages, and I'm gonna text it right to Sven. So you'll notice that when I sent it, it was an actual link that was being sent. But when it finally gets sent to Sven, come on, there it is. A preview of the actual photo loads right there in messages. So you no longer have to explain to Sven that, oh, I'm sending you a link from my cloud. It's a photo that I took of you this morning. You don't have to go through that. You can have your conversation. You can enjoy your conversation. You can interact with the person on the other side without ever having to tell them or explain to them what it is. But if you open the link, just like you would when you get a small preview of whatever it is, you get it in high definition. You can download it, save it, you can do whatever it is that you want with it. Um, that was a quick overview of the mobile app. It does a little bit more, but I wanna show you guys how easy it is to access the content that you have on the MyCloud Home using any device. So I'm gonna switch gears, and I'm gonna get out of the mobile app, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use a desktop application. So we have something called the WD Discovery. You're gonna download it. It'll interact with your MyCloud Home devices. I already have mine installed. 
and you log in as if you would on any cloud account using your mobile phone or even the, even the web browser. And what it'll do is it'll, take, it'll map that device to your computer. And it'll add you a desktop shortcut as well as show up here in the connected devices. When I open this device, it opens right there in the finder. This makes it very easy for anyone to understand where the device is and what they're using and, what, and what's inside the actual device because it's a very familiar way. Anyone that ever owns a Mac, that's how they deal with it. Anyone that ever owns a PC, they use their file explorer every single day, right? So we wanted to tap into that and make it very easy for the user. You can drag and drop, you can copy, move, rename, every action that you can possibly do on your finder, you can do right there with all the files that are on the MyCloud home. We've also made it really easy for people to move stuff from their um, computer to the MyCloud as well. So I'm gonna right click on this, say sync to MyCloud, and automatically creates a folder and starts grabbing the files that are on my computer and adds it to my MyCloud. It's really that simple. Uh, there's a couple more features I'm happy to show you guys on the side. And I'm gonna show you guys the web really quickly as well so you know that if you're not on your mobile phone, you're not on your desktop, you're out and about, you wanna get to your files really quickly, it's just as simple. Sign into your device, I believe I'm already logged in, and the, there, there they are. There's my files, there's my folders. You can go in, go into the same folder again if you want to. All my files are here. Photos as well, the same mobile view that I had. I have it here on the web as well. And most importantly, I can toggle my services on and off from here as well, once it loads. You gotta love live demos. <laughs> okay, click on configure, and right there, I can turn it on and off. Um, that was a quick, kind of overview of the MyCloud Home. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna hand it off to Ruben, and I think he's gonna show you guys the uh, expand base. Thank you.